What's going on everybody? Oxidize your 22 inch python lord bringing you a video that I think a lot of Albion YouTubers and streamers are actually afraid to make but I want to make it because I think this game needs to be constantly improved, constantly changed, constantly looked at for the better. And I'm hoping this video uh, kind of reaches out to Sandbox and other people who want to make this game as, as best as possible. So I'm, I want to kind of air out some of my concerns with the game and certain things that I have honestly lost interest in the game, hopefully that they can touch on later on and, you know, bring back a little bit of the sauce that I, that I got the very first time I died in the red zone or got ganked in the black zone. So uh, when when all of these all of these different concerns, comments, whatever you want to call them, boil down to this one question what's it gonna be oxy you leave this in suspense what is it what's the point right and like and i get this question a lot on stream and sometimes in the comments as well like what happens when i have all this money what do i do like what what's my end game what's my goal and how do you answer that right because i you know you and and, and what do you what, what do you tell people because there really isn't an end goal to this game which i think is really unique and really interesting but why am i doing all this farming why am i doing all this pvp all this pv if in the end like i get to max out a character and then it's like yeah yeah yay cool right now i think there's something to be really cool what they could do and i don't i don't have all the i don't have all the answers and maybe there's something they're working on or i'm not a game developer it's something just from a player's perspective what they could do is add something that makes it more unique that makes you as a player have something to strive for and become more unique i think they started doing that really well starting with corrupted dungeons because corrupted dungeons you put out put in all this work to afford the gear in order to progress and have an actual infamy system a system that, that you have a, a goal to work towards other than that though like what am i what am i making all this money for there's there's nothing unique about getting a tier 8.3 item it's expensive sure but if you die you die you lose it and, and the other guy has the same exact thing you can't die weapons you can't die any armor so what am I working towards? And that's something I'm having a hard time uh, answering that question with. Same thing for like in-game content as well. Like the in-game content right now, I would say are a few things. Uh, high level PVP, like uh, uh, Slayer level corrupted dungeons, Avalonian big group dungeons. That goes along with um, Roads of Avalon, 10 player chess, and then I guess like guild related things now um maybe they could do well that's, that's a ton of that's a ton of content but why am i doing that content if all i'm going to get is just more silver why not like a cool unique right why not something that i've not everyone's going to get the same weapon i'm going to get or uh it takes all this effort to get this weapon or mount or something along those lines not that not 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 everyone's going to be able to get to until they've got to that level and i feel like it just doesn't have that kind of Rabbit. I think I think a lot of people just get bored with the game because it's like Again, what's the point it all boils down to that question. You see where I'm getting at here um, Another concern that I like to bring up is the is PvE So I'm someone who started my channel doing guides and I was really an advocate of using uh, Solo dungeons and and combat to to really uh, up your production and have enjoy the game But after you've gone through the dungeon so many times, it's it's the same dungeon. It doesn't get any harder you know, it's the loot's always going to be the same. There's, there's no, uh, there's no reason to go through them. I mean, I could, I could go do the same thing in corrupted dungeons, which are way better. And, and I'm, I'm gonna get to some good at the end of this. By the way, it's not just gonna be me like just bashing Albion to the, to the, and, and, and to the ground here. There's also good to the game too. But I want to make sure what I'm experiencing is something that you might be experiencing too. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. And hopefully these get noticed by somebody important and maybe can. Uh, flesh these things out um so yeah when it comes to the pve stuff i think if they could make it a little bit more exciting uh dun you know like almost roguelike esque dungeons when you go into one rooms are going to be different and like they are a little bit but not enough or they don't do much for me you know all the bosses like i mean once you play the game enough people are like hey how do you know that's gonna be a blue chest boss coming up because i've seen it a thousand times you know it's really not that different you know what I mean? Um, there's like, there's what, three buffs you can get? Cool. Why not add more? Why not add a little bit more something to it? It's something that was, that when, when you do a dungeon solo or group, you're like, oh, that was really cool. That was a unique experience. I only get to do like once every 15, 20, 100 times. 
That'd be super cool. Now, I know the game is still in development and they're constantly adding new stuff. So this is something, you know, all right. Hey, this is a good idea. Thanks, Oxy. I'll do Python Lord here to save the day once again. Um, okay, moving into something else uh, like questing. Now, I don't think a game needs to have quests in order for it to be a good game. I'll be on, it does well, but hear me out. Okay, hear me out with something like this. When it comes to things like gathering, how do you get gathering experience? You go and do the thing. Sure, that's fine. Make a little bit of money while you're doing it and great. Why not have like daily tasks or quests that can give you gathering experience for doing it? So, uh, for example, I, you know, a quest in Thetford's like, hey, bring this great or like gather this many um, leather or whatever and take it to Carleon through the red zone. So you, you get the experience from gathering the leather and then you get to do the transport part as well. And that transport part. When you turn in the quest, you get more gathering experience. I think that'd be kind of neat. I mean, it's something to do. It's like a daily quest. It's um, it can be faction related. I mean, I know there are faction related quests and everything, but they just give you faction points and it's very dangerous. And it's kind of like, I don't ever do them because you need to have like an entire guild with you. And that brings me to my next point. I feel like the game is really, really based on the guild system. And that's fine if you like that kind of content. Me personally, I don't really care about the guild system too much. I think it's fun to have a guild. I'm glad I have one and we get to have like all the stuff that we can do together. But I don't want to be barred by that content. Like late game content, unless you're doing ZVZs or fighting for the black zone, it's like... I mean, cool. I mean, I don't want to be a part of that though. Not all the time. Or I'm just going to go do my own thing and play the game for an hour of Corrupted Dungeons and be like, all right, that was, I mean, that was fun, but I mean, what was the point of doing that? You know, I just either lost money or lost silver or I gained some silver and now I get to buy the same equipment again or not have to buy it. Great. You know what I mean? So um, again, I just think the lack of in-game content for me is really kind of putting a damper on things. And I'm pretty sure this, this video is going to get downvoted to hell. Who cares? I think this is something that could might, might get people thinking, but like I keep saying. Um, the loot in this game. Okay, so the loot is always exciting when you get that legendary chest and it's like super poggers, brother. Super great. You get a lot of money from doing it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Great. However, it's always going to be a, a tier 8 weapon that you've seen a million times. It's going to be a tier 7 weapon, tier 7.2 weapon that you've seen maybe a few times. But it's nothing unique about it. Why not have like enchant and like different enchantments that you can put on weapons? I mean, is that gonna is that gonna it might might burst the balancing out of the wall zoo, but it doesn't mean anything crazy. But something like I've grinded for this enchantment. I want this enchantment. That's unique to me. And you can even make it like a crafting part where you can enhance different aspects onto a weapon. You know what I mean? Because other than, I mean, other than going from tier seven to tier seven point one, seven point two, seven point three, that's all you get to do. And like, it makes it stronger, sure, but who cares? I mean. It's still, I mean, it's, it's, it's such a money game that it, it kind of takes away that uniqueness, in my opinion. That's really about all the bad, but I do want to talk about the good too. I, I don't want to be just a, down, a super downer video. Let's talk about the good of the game as well. I would say the PVP in this game is one of my favorites. Uh, it's simple yet challenging, easy to kind of start, but hard to master because all of the, the controls and um, combat and movement, it's all simple movement and, 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 and controls, but being able to identify when to use those abilities, um, move them, moving in terms of different traps and placement, uh, timing, it, that, that's all stuff that you really have to get down to be really good at it as well, especially in Corrupted Dungeons or even in 2v2s and 5v5s. Uh, you have to be able to, to work as a team and like it, it makes a difference too. not just one person's the star of the show in those so the pvp in this game i would say is fantastic and that's what and that's mainly the reason why i'm still playing right now something they did recently was get rid of dungeon diving not completely but to the point where it's very very hard to dungeon dive i enjoyed dungeon diving uh you know when i got dungeon dove it was awful but when i was able to do it, it was a lot of fun like running into someone unexpected and trying to get the kill or they run away super cool but now that's pretty much gone or it feels like it's gone anyway which kind of sucks but you know ganking and all that kind of stuff that's still there which is which is really really good um, another good thing is that you're not stuck in one class. Uh, I think I think this is either a good or a bad thing, depending how you look at it. I like to see it from both perspectives. It's a good thing, but I also like classes in video games too. It's okay it doesn't have it, but I, you, you, you kind of get to choose what you want to be from time to time, which I think is really, really cool. 
also along with that there's a lot of different options we have a lot of different weapons a lot of different armors that do a whole bunch of different things which i think is really really unique and interesting as well okay so i give it props albion you've done well on that but i think you could i think i think the enhancement the enchantment part of it could be really interesting there as well um you get to have your own island now i say that with like a little asterisk you get to have your own island asterisk if you have premium, you get to have your own island. Great. And you can customize it however you want. But it boils down to eventually or in the beginning, that island is going to be used to make you more money. And that's what it's going to end up being. Now, all the personality gets out of it. The only personality is what you use that island to make money for, right? Other than that, like, that's it. So it, 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 it just becomes a factory, which is kind of cool. But then you realize, like, there's really no, personal, there's no personalization in that, like, at all. So... I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, but I mean, there could be more. And I would say the, the last thing I think of that's just a, a huge positive is that you can start this game however you want. Uh, I know plenty of people who only wanted to do crafting and gathering or just gathering and wanted to chill and watch the streams and just kind of hang out. That's great. That's awesome that you want to do that. Uh, I bet people like me, they want to go like, hey, what's the best PvE weapon? What's the best PvP weapon? How do I get started in combat right away? And you can do that. Or you can do a mixture of both. You can do whatever you want, which I think is the beauty of this game. It just all boils down to at the very end of this game, or like once you reach, you know, tier eight and your favorite weapon and armor, are you going to go do it again? Or are you just going to try to get to the end game, which leads to you not really improving anywhere else right so uh i don't know guys i would love to hear your thoughts on albion online uh, let me know what your concerns are what you love about the game have am i am i far off from what you think am i spot on brother let me know all right if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and as always stay strong brother